Hello, 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 guys. It's me again, coming back with your weekly read-alouds. You're going to be getting videos like this from me every week, like we've been doing, but this week I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently. I'm going to start a chapter book. I'm going to start the book Wonder. So I'm going to try to read a few pages or maybe a whole chapter, depending on how long they are, every single week. And also, you'll be getting read-alouds from either Mrs. C, Mrs. Abbott, who was supposed to be our, my student teacher when we came back from spring break or this whole thing. So she's going to be posting things on here and on our check-in, she'll be just popping in because she wants to get to know you guys and just see what we kind of do on our day-to-day. -day. And this is kind of just our new normal. So she'll be popping on too, but like I said, Mrs. C, Ms. Abbott, and Ms. Norjahan will also be posting read-aloud videos, but I'm going to be sticking to this um, chapter book. Feel free, if you don't, if you're not interested in the book, that's okay. I just wanted to get a different book. I love, this is probably one of my favorite books, especially one of my favorite child books. Um, it's really good messages, and it's just a really cool story with Augie. So I'm going to be reading a little bit and then maybe asking a few questions, what you think. You can tell your parents, but this is just a different way we can interact and kind of have our dear time that we normally would have in the classroom. Okay. So I think, I'm not sure if you guys can, but this has different parts. So the first one, it says part one, August, and that's Augie's full name is August, but everyone calls him Augie. Fate smiled and Destiny laughed as she came to the cradle. Hmm. Okay. So let's get started. So the first one says, ordinary. I know I'm not an ordinary 10-year-old kid. I mean, sure, I do ordinary things. I eat ice cream. Who loves ice cream? I ride my bike. I play ball. I have an Xbox. Stuff that makes me ordinary, I guess. And I feel ordinary inside. But I know ordinary kids don't make other ordinary kids run away screaming in playgrounds. I know ordinary kids don't get stared at whenever I go. If I found a magic lamp and I could have one wish, I would wish that I, if I had a normal face that no one would ever notice, that no one ever noticed at all. I would make a wish that I could walk down the street without people seeing me and then doing that look away thing. Here's what I think. The only reason I'm not ordinary is that no one else sees me that way. But I'm kind of used to how I look by now. I know how to pretend I don't see the faces people make. We've all gotten pretty good at that sort of thing. Mom, Dad, and Vi. Via, I think it is. Via. Actually, I take that back. Via's not good at it at all. She can really get... She can get really annoyed when people do something rude. Like, for instance, one time in the playground, some older kids made some noises. I don't even know what the noises were exactly because I didn't hear them myself, but Via heard it and she just stared at yelling at the kids. That's the way she is. I'm not that way. Via doesn't see me as ordinary. She says she does, but if I were ordinary, she wouldn't feel like she needs to protect me as much. And mom and dad don't see me as ordinary either. They see me as extraordinary. I don't think the, I think the only person in the world who realizes how ordinary I am is me. My name is August, by the way. I won't describe what I look like. Whatever you're thinking, it's probably worse. So throughout this book, we're going to be hearing Augie's story and kind of him going through life, but they'll never describe or we'll never get a picture of what he looks like. It's kind of for your own imagination of what you think. Okay, and then it's going to start a new chapter. Why I didn't go to school. Next week, I start fifth grade. Since I've been to a real school before, since I've never been to a real school before, my bad, I'm pretty much totally and completely petrified. People think I have, haven't gone to school because of the way I look, but it's not that. It's because of all the surgeries I've had. 27 since I was born. The bigger ones happened before I was even four years old. So I don't remember those, but I've had two or three surgeries every year since then. Some big, some small. And because I'm little for my age and I have some other medical mysteries that doctors never really figured out. I used to get sick a lot. That's why my parents decided it was better if I didn't go to school. I'm much stronger now though. The last surgery I had was eight months ago and I probably won't have 
to have and not anymore for a couple of years. Mom homeschools me. She used to be a children's book illustrator. She draws really great fairies and mermaids. Her boy stuff isn't so hot, though. She once tried to draw me a Darth Vader, but it ended up looking like some weird mushroom-shaped robot. Can you imagine? Darth Vader is a mushroom-shaped robot. I haven't seen her draw anything in a long time. I think she's too busy taking care of me and Via. I can't say I always wanted to go to school because that wouldn't be exactly true. What I wanted was what I wanted was to go to school, but only if I could be like every other kid going to school. Have lots of friends and hang out after school and stuff like that. I have a few really good friends now. Christopher is my best friend, followed by Zachary and Alex. We've known each other since we were babies. And since they've always known me the way I am, they're used to me. When we were little, we used to have playdates all the time. But then Christopher moved to Bridgeport in Connecticut. That's more than an hour away from where I live in North River Heights, which is at the top, tip top of Manhattan. And Zachary and Alex started going to school. It's funny, even though Christopher is the one who moved far away, I still see him more than I see Zachary and Alex. They have all these new friends now. If we bump into each other on the street, they're, they're still nice to me, though. They always say hello. I have other friends, too, but not as good as Christopher and Zach and Alex were. For instance, Zach and Alex always invited me to their birthday parties when we were little, but Joel and Iman and Gabe never did. Emma invited me once, but I haven't seen her in a long time. And, of course, I always go to the Christopher's p party. Maybe I'm making too big a deal about birthday parties. Okay. I'm going to pause me there. Just because this has a lot of different ones. And I don't want to kind of like overwhelm you just to begin the story. But maybe I'm going to try to make the next video a little bit longer so I can get through more of it. But let me know what you guys think about this book. I know we're only in the first few pages of it and kind of going through the first few chapters. But what do you think about Augie? What do you think? How would he, if you were in his position, how would you feel? Would you want to go to school? Would you want to stay home? Or what kind of feelings would you feel like if you started a brand new school for the first time? And he was homeschooled, kind of like we're being homeschooled right now. So how do you think he would feel being homeschooled and then going back to school for the first time ever? It's going to be a big change for him. So I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe and healthy. And I miss you guys lots and lots and lots. All right. Love you guys. Bye.